So right now, there are two stages of testosterone. There is brain signaling, which is the thing that was popular before Hamza told us all to minimize the estrogenic load that we have in our bodies, right? To minimize the plastic that we have on our skin. That was stage two. And stage one was basically Andrew Huberman or some other scientist telling you, oh, uh, do squats and do heavy deadlifts and all that. That was stage one. And stage two was Hamza talking about minimizing estrogenics and stage three will be entered with this video where I will teach you how to keep your free testosterone and your um, longer and how to essentially have higher levels of free testosterone because everything other than free testosterone is basically useless. Free testosterone can do a lot of things for you but only if it's active within your body and in this video we're going to discuss how you actually increase free testosterone. To demonstrate this I have to get my, my drawing shit out real quick so future caveman please edit this out. If, if this fucking doesn't work now, I am so fucked. You have to imagine testosterone and building testosterone has three stages and it starts with your testes. Now let's actually, let's actually be accurate and not draw this, but let's draw the average testy size of a caveman subscriber. So just to be informed, your testes isn't your dick, it is your ball. So we'll actually draw two of these giant healthy looking balls. And your balls produce LH, right? LH is called luteinizing hormone and luteinizing hormone is basically the brain signaling that then produces free testosterone. Right here, free testosterone. Unfortunately, this pen just gave up. Free testosterone is then produced into S um, SHPG, which is called sex hormone binding globulin. And then it's useless. Think of it like this. Your testes are the, the pimp, right? Then LH is the hookers, right? LH is the hookers. Then pretestosterone is also the hookers in this case. And SHPG is the cops trying to get your hookers off the street. And many people have have said, yeah, just increase the amount of hookers you have by doing squats, by 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 minimizing estrogenics. They have all focused on what's here, but they've never focused on what's here on SHBG, on minimizing the amount of cops that take your hookers off the street. And what you need to know is that it doesn't matter how many hookers you have on the streets, if they all are in the prison, they are all useless. You might as well just have one hooker on the street that's getting taken to the prison um, than having 10 hookers on the street or 20 hookers on the street or 100 hookers on the street. If all of them get taken into prison, it's useless and it will even um, be like more costly to get them out of prison again. So let's not focus on getting more hookers on the street because we probably all have high testosterone. As natural men, we have high testosterone. If we did this, if we focus on the brain signaling, and if we focus on minimizing estrogenics, then we probably have the highest testosterone possible. But we haven't focused on getting the cops, AKA SHBG, out of our body. And the way we do this is through something called Avena Sativa. A vena sativa is basically giving your hookers guns so they can go fuck up those cops. I think that a vena sativa is one of the best and fastest way, ways to increase free testosterone because think about it, you are a man, okay? You are on self-improvement, so you're probably leading a healthy life, so you probably should have high testosterone. But if your testosterone gets taken hostage by SHBG, then it's not worth anything. Because SHBG will fuck up your testosterone, it will bind testosterone to it, and then your testosterone is useless. SHBG is that motherfucker 
um, why you have only roid rages and why you don't have roid rage forever, right? SHBG is responsible for the drop in testosterone that you get after a roid rage. You might know this, you roid rage, right? You are really aggressive, you're big and pumped up and all that. And half an hour or a quarter of an hour later, you will think, what the fuck just happened? I have no testosterone left in me. And that is SHBG taking over your testosterone. What is a venous sativa? A venous sativa is a steroid, it's not some medication, it's nothing. You can take it in pill form, you can take it in powder form, and I personally recommend this, but at its core, a venous sativa is just the whole oat with the sort of skin of the oat. It's natural, it's like fish oil, it's like anything, it's just a natural supplement that you can take that will then minimize SHBG and therefore maximize free testosterone. When you are taking this, I promise that stay hard and life is hard <laughs> will get a whole different meaning for you. <laughs> if you know what the fuck I mean. Um, not wanting to work out will not be a thing for you. You just think like, what the fuck? How can you be so undisciplined to not work out? Um, you'll have fun working out. You will have like just a bigger appearance, more of a full appearance. I see a lot of people in the gym who have like empty physiques, right? Where they look like they, they are easily to push over. But people have said to me repeatedly in the gym, you look massive, you look like a mountain and you look like you're full, right? And that's testosterone, that's all free testosterone. Free testosterone makes you lift heavier, it makes you lift longer. Everything you do gets better and longer <laughs> with free testosterone. So focus all your energy and all your money that you previously have spent on brain signaling and reducing estrogenics. You can focus all of that on buying a Venus Sativa. I don't think it's that, like, I don't think it's that expensive. It's like 20 bucks um, if you buy it at the right source. I put a link to it in the description. Again, you can just go there. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't make any money from it, but hopefully you will make gains from it. Um, I won't talk much longer because I'm probably boring to you um, right now because you got your, your secret sauce now. It is called Avena Sativa. Link in the description. Go ahead and use it. It's completely fine. And it will boost your testosterone to ancestor levels. Now, master your mind and have a nice fucking day. And have a nice fucking workout.